is the stomach. When empty, it's about the size of your fist. But an adult person can load it up with food to up to three liters. It's also made up of strong muscles. They contract to mix the food with digestive chemicals. In addition to breaking down food, the digestive chemicals also help to kill bacteria that might be in the eaten food. It's a bit messy down here. Here in the stomach, the proteins are digested into single building blocks called amino acids. Digestion of fat starts here as well. And digestion of sugars continues. Tell me more about these nutrients. So, after digestion, there are many nutrients from food floating in the stomach. What does the body do with them all? We use these nutrients taken from food to build our own body or to use them to produce energy. Proteins are the actual building blocks. Sugars and fats are burned to get energy. Vitamins regulate our functions, heal our wounds, and boost our immune system so that our body can work properly. Some minerals are used as construction material, like calcium, that makes our bones harder. Let me show you how energetic some of these nutrients can be. My mouth is watering already as we are going to visit a chocolate-making workshop. Let's go. My name is Sarenda here at Moonbeam Chocolate in Kampala. We make chocolate from bean to bath. Chocolate receives a lot of bad press because of its high fat and sugar content. But quality chocolate, especially dark chocolate, also contains a lot of nutrients, iron and magnesium. There are two kinds of nutrients our body uses to get energy. Carbohydrates, in other words, sugar and fat. We can easily check that those two are truly energetic. Let us look at sugar. What happens if we put sugar on fire? Will it burn? This flame is really hot, over a thousand degrees Celsius. It is hot enough to melt gold or copper. No wonder our sugar starts melting too. It is liquid sugar now. You see how energetic sugars are? Look how rapidly the energy is transformed into heat and light. All right, and how about fat? Is it equally energetic? Actually, even more. Let's try. Cocoa butter only starts to melt at body temperature. So we will use regular cooking oil for this experiment. We will pour some oil to this container. This is a simple lamp made from a drinking glass and a tin can lid. Now we need to make a wick, a piece of inflammable rope. We will use a twisted piece of cotton made from an old t-shirt. Okay. Let's moisten the wing with the oil and put it into the container. Ready, time to burn it. Three, two, one. Look carefully. This is not the material burning, but the oil. The wing remains almost intact and the burning fat gives us light and heat. What we've just built is an oil lamp. If there is no electricity, no flashlight, no candle, you can always quickly build one for yourself. It will burn for a long time because fat is very energetic. It contains twice as much energy as sugar, but it burns slower and in a more peaceful way than sugar. This is why our body uses sugar or carbohydrates when we rapidly need more energy, for example, during sports or other physical exercises. After all this science, I think I deserve a bite of a yummy dark chocolate bar. Did you know that water is an important nutrient? It transports various elements in our veins and arteries. It's also used for cooling 
and heating different body parts so our entire body can maintain proper temperature. It looks like we need many diverse nutrients to be healthy. Exactly. Remember to eat many different kinds of food to fuel your body properly. Eat many fresh vegetables and fruits, meat, fish, and milk products. Have some grain or flour-based meals, and remember to drink enough water. This diversity of food will bring you good health and energy to learn and play. Speaking of play, can we take a ride down this tube? Yes, let's continue our journey through the digestive system. This tube you're referring to is the small intestine. This is where the digestion process finishes. So this will be the end? No, 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 not too fast. Disassembling food is a really long and complicated process. This is why we need a long and complicated digestive system. The small intestine is a seven meter long tube inside you. Let's go see it up close. I think I'll be happy to get out of this place.